Okay, recording this video, it's Friday, 18th of November, 2011. Hope your trading is going well this week. Thought I'd do a little bit of something different uh, in today's video. Got some great comments uh, yesterday after my kind of minor rant. So thank you for all those kind of uh, positive words. One of them was an email from Peter. Um, just skip over the first uh, paragraph here, but because uh, I want to respond specifically to uh, Peter's request. For the record, I'm a very happy customer, as I highlighted in my previous emails. Your indicators alone helped me to get six points this morning following the FDAX action. Uh, thanks, Barry, for sharing your knowledge. And lastly, talking about your extensive knowledge, would it be possible if you could spend a couple of minutes of your videos and tell us something about easy language code, please? I want to learn, but where would be the best place to start? I'm sure you can advise on the matter. Would it be possible? All the best. Uh, happy subscriber, Peter. Okay, so let's talk about TradeStation Easy Language because I've got three suggestions for you if you're kind of interested in learning or learning more about uh, TradeStation Easy Language. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what it looks like for those uh, non-users of TradeStation or if you've never kind of coded with Easy Language. So all I've done here is just pull up a, an ADES chart, um, E-mini chart, 1500 tip by chart, and we'll just develop a little indicator here. Normally you can just right-click on any indicator and it'll, uh, you can select uh, the the trade station uh, development environment or you can just go to your kind of sidebar and just opening it up and this is what it looks like the trade station development environment I must admit this is kind of a new development with trade station 9 I think uh, they brought this in uh, previous to that uh, you could write easy language code inside of the easy language kind of uh, charting platform itself uh, and it was an extremely simple little kind of um, background program there that could, could work and you could script ideas right into charts they've kind of separated into two programs now with the charting platform and the uh, the easy language kind of trade station development environment I find it a little less kind of intuitive to uh, but you know if you're a full-on developer there's a lot more tools in here but anyway let's just uh, develop something here just quickly so first of all I'm just clicking on a new indicator so let's just call this uh, test indicator and we kind of click OK actually there's already one there called that so let's call this test indicator 20 so what we have here is just a uh, little bit of kind of blank space where we can write some code and uh, I'm just going to develop a really simple little uh, moving average code and we'll just kind of put that on, on a chart. So uh, one of the inputs that you can use is variables. Now you can name all of your variables uh, something like look back 20. The end of each line of easy language you end with a semicolon there and then we can just put a calculated value and you can name values it used to be up to 99 I think it's kind of almost infinite now and just you don't have to name all of your variables but you can just calculate values as you go and let's just calculate an average of the close over the look back period like that and then let's plot that so we have various plot statements you can plot multiple lines or indicators whatever it might be on a chart so you uh, number each of those so we we're going to plot one and we're going to plot the value we have to give it uh, a name and that goes in brackets and um, I also like kind of putting colors uh, inside my indicators here just as a trade station is language tip uh, that there's I'll put a link to uh, the uh, 10 tips for uh, trade station is language which was recorded quite a while ago if you name all of your kind of colors and and lines and and so on within the easy language script you can just uh, change them all at once rather than changing them kind of one chart um, at a time so there we go very simple easy language script we've just named a variable we've calculated a, a particular kind of ongoing value the average of the close over a look back period and then we just verify that code we just click here it says there we go saved and verified no errors uh, it's just kind of appeared in the uh, output script kind of below the screen here now so we called that test indicator 20 let's just go back to TradeStation and let's add that to the chart. So insert analysis technique. You see I've got kind of dozens and dozens of little indicators uh, and we'll click on the uh, prompt uh, for format option here so we can format this and uh, on the style just make sure it's a line and then go to scaling and let's we want to actually put this on uh, the uh, price bars themselves so we go same as underlying data just click OK so there we go we got ourselves a little moving average and we can see overnight what the market's been doing bounced 
uh, from the 12.10 levels up to almost 12.30. So we go, nice little uh, moving average. That was how easy it was to develop that. Now, uh, that just gives you an idea of what the language looks like, and it can be incredibly complicated or as simple as you like. One of the huge advantages of using TradeStation Easy Language is that, is that writing kind of routines and kind of run routines where we kind of cycle through loops is incredibly easy uh, with Easy Language, whereas in other languages it's actually a real pain in the neck to do. Now, one of the things that you will always come across when you're writing code is debugging the code, because code written first time rarely works. There's always kind of problems with it. So how do you do that? And my suggestion for you with all of debugging types of code is to build up the indicator or the code that you're writing kind of step by step and look at the outputs kind of as you go. So let me show you how you do that. Let's just go back to this uh, chart here. And instead of putting this chart on the price uh, bars themselves. We're just going to format this and put these on the subgraph. So we'll make it on subgraph 2 and there we go. So we've got the price bars themselves and we're calculating uh, this kind of moving average at the closes on, on subgraph 2. Going back to the develop environment here we're just going to do a couple of things. Now instead of plotting the uh, close over the last uh, 20 bars and there's kind of shortenings for all of these things. So close can be written out, close or just a capital C. The high is capital H or high like that. And then I'm going to calculate a second variable of the low over the uh, look back period. And we're going to plot both of these on the same chart. So plot 2, value 2, moving average 2, let's call this. Instead of cyan, we'll put it in red. And there we go, and we just verify. Now, if we go back to our chart, you can see here we go, we've got two lines now. The moving average of the highs and the moving average of the lows have been painted there. Now, the point I'm trying to get over here is that as you're developing this code, it could well be that this uh, did not plot correctly. What you end up with on your chart looks very different from what you expected. So what I suggest you do is kind of go through the code kind of step by step and then so I would say once you've developed one piece stop there and check it with a plot statement and plot it kind of outside of the price bars to make sure that the plotting of that variable that you've kind of expected to be the output is actually correct and then to add the second line of code and kind of keep going as you go. If you find that you kind of need to go back and check what's actually happening the easiest thing to do is to comment out uh, pieces of the code so that they don't actually get referenced and you do that with these squiggly brackets either side of the code and that kind of comments it out and then we can do that with the plot statements here as well. So they're kind of commented out. We kind of re-verify the code, go back to the chart, and you can see there's just the highs being plotted there. So that type of process for checking code is how I would build up your code. And when you find yourself uh, with a mistake, when the outputs of the code just don't look correct, go back through the code, build it up kind of variable by variable, comment out bits of the code until the things you know look right as you're going through them and then you can come through here we can calculate this average again of the lows uh, we could calculate something more we could calculate the ratio of these two so there's value one divided by value two as uh, and then ending with a semicolon and let's plot this value three uh, in cyan and see what happens. So there we go, we re-verify the code, go back to the indicator and there you can see the average, uh, I beg your pardon, the ratio of the high of the low to the bar, which we expect will be around a, a 1.00 something. So suggestion for you know writing code is basically just launch into something, start with something extremely easy, uh, and just as you go, as you build up your code, you're always going to find mistakes and you'll need to debug the code. And you need to go back through the code and just comment out bits of the codes and just look at the output as you go. So we could look at the output of value 1, 
verify that, then value 2, then value 3, kind of as we're building up the code to make sure uh, that the values are kind of correct. Now, that's the simplest kind of example of a piece of code, but I hope it gives you an idea of what the easy language uh, language looks like, how easy it is to program with it, and how you should be developing your code kind of step by step. So the second thing I'd like to talk about now that I've shown you some of the code is if you're going to teach yourself uh, TradeStation Easy Language where to go for help. Uh, please don't email me. Uh, there are plenty of places kind of online that you can kind of search for help for and I will uh, put up links to all of these uh, above uh, below this video so that you can get to these. The first thing is uh, that I've found is two documents that TradeStation have had out for years and years uh, that have been incredibly helpful. Now, they've just redesigned the TradeStation website and I must admit, I think it's awful, but anyway, uh, difficult to find anything here, but, uh, and I'll, I'll give you the link to this, but under the uh, Education University Easy Language Books section, there are two free PDFs that you can download here. First one's called Easy Language Essentials, which is basically a, I think it's about like a hundred page or more, uh, step by step. This is how Easy Language worked. Extremely well uh, written with tons of examples as you go. And then the second uh, PDF is Easy Language Functions and Reserved Words. And this is an, an complete listing of all of the reserved words within uh, Easy Language that you can use to find all kinds of different things within the data or uh, the code and so on. So for example, if you don't know what the format of pulling out the date of a particular bar or, or closing bar is, you can find the date formats. If you're looking for a particular function, if you're wondering whether there's some kind of exponential moving average or whatever, all those functions are all detailed there, the inputs for them, how you express them in the code and so on. So those two PDFs are absolutely essential. This one is a read-through uh, to understand how to code in uh, easy language and the second one is a reference document uh, for looking for reserved words. Now within the de development environment itself there are tools in here that you can look up words and so on so it's pretty powerful inside here but what I've found is is just going back to these kind of PDF reference documents is great so download those have them on your computer and then you can search uh, you know in Adobe Reader for all kinds of words or things that might you know throughout these documents for any th questions that you have. So that's the first suggestion. The second one is, again, on the TradeStation site here under Education Event Center On Demand Webcast Easy Language. And again, I'll leave the link uh, to this kind of below the video. They've uh, nicely recorded uh, a dozen or so little videos uh, within TradeStation. Each of these is about an hour long uh, with an introduction and a different aspect of Easy, Launch, uh, Easy Language. So here's the introduction, functions, indicators, uh, loops, outputting data, um, pass by reference functions, text objects, trend lines, and so on. So great number of, of little videos here. Funnily enough, I'm just looking at this for the first time and seeing the number of views that they've had on these videos is virtually none, which is just extraordinary to me because you know they're, they're probably pretty useful. So uh, uh, that's another place within the TradeStation uh, website where you can find useful tutorials. Now, as I was looking around, kind of searching, uh, res researching this little kind of video tutorial, I came across uh, Martin Whitaker's website, uh, which is called Markplex. Now, he has 50 video recording tutorials on everything to do with easy language. I was just stunned by this. He's done a hell of a lot of work and he's got, got them all listed here. So Mark Plex, free tutorials, kind of section of his website under here, easy language tutorials. And, you know, pretty much everything you'd need to know here as a, a beginner on easy language has got to be here. So uh, creating three line break, uh, creating a pseudo bounded volume oscillator, an improved price stochastic divergence indicator, fantastic stuff here. So these are all kind of free tutorials uh, that he's got. Uh, I think these are all videos. Let me just check and see. Well, there you go. Most of the tutorials are actually kind of clip art, uh, kind of going through here, kind of step by step, um, and rather than kind of video uh, examples. So maybe there are some videos on, on the site, but you know, so tutorials there for how to do things step by step, really useful stuff. Um, so that's another kind of uh, link that I'll put below this video. Go check that out. The last thing. Uh, 
if you're going to kind of uh, do it yourself, there will always be kind of questions that you'll have about kind of how to how to code various uh, aspects in easy language. And the forums on TradeStation are actually pretty darn good. Uh, although with the new redesign of TradeStation, finding them is bloody hard. Uh, but anyway, so this is uh, uh, the address is kind of community.webtradestation.com uh, discussions main. Uh, so that kind of gets you to the main. Uh, you have to log into your TradeStation account uh, here to go to the kind of the listings of forums. And what I find is the advanced forum search is the first place to go for here. And what I do is I look for uh, all of the words with all of the words. So let's say uh, I'm trying to find help on writing the date format. And uh, the search functionality is, isn't bad, pulls up I think about 20 references, but what I do find really helps to kind of target uh, the responses on the forum is to search for title only. So if you're looking for articles in the forum that to do with date format, just looking for the the, uh, uh, the title alone uh, will give you the kind of the best matches kind of going forward. So then we hit search forums takes a little bit of a time here we go and then so we've got a whole listing uh, where the uh, date format is in uh, the title of the discussion on the forum so date form in print statement uh, time of a bar and date format date format com uh, com conversions you get the message European date format and so on so searching within the uh, forums on TradeStation for any kind of wrinkles for how to use various functions or whatever in easy language is an extremely useful place to go you could also search on Google for kind of uh, easy language, TradeStation easy language, and then the particular format of some kind of uh, function that you're trying to uh, develop or so on. And you might get lucky. I find the forum uh, in terms of uh, you know searching for things is far more useful uh, than the Google searches. But uh, you know that's just what I found kind of over the years. So that was the first section. What does uh, TradeStation easy language look like? And I uh, recommend you just go give it a go yourself. Second uh, discussion was just about teaching yourself. Here are some kind of useful online resources. Now, you might be a very busy person and coding just might not be your thing. Uh, personally, I love coding. I love all kinds of uh, software-y type stuff. So, I mean, I, I love kind of delving into it. But if you give up or you think, nah, I don't want to spend the time, then what I suggest you do is you go find someone uh, to help you. And again, back to the TradeStation site. Uh, to the Easy Language Specialist Directory and you'll find this under the Strategy Network uh, part of the TradeStation site and here uh, you've got a whole listing, I think there's 40 or 50 uh, kind of people uh, listed here who are TradeStation Easy Language add-on independent consultants, uh, specialists who you can uh, actually kind of uh, uh, get in touch with and ask them to code various ideas for you It'll be, you know, obviously kind of more expensive, but if your time is valuable or you don't have the skills, this is definitely the place to go. And as I was kind of having a look through this list, I was actually surprised there are some there are some big names in here, which is kind of great. We've got uh, John Clayberg here, who's actually uh, kind of listed. Uh, we've got Joe Krutzinger's actually got his details here. We've got William. Uh, Brower, who is uh, excellent inside edge, his uh, website years ago used to be brilliant with kind of uh, um, teaching resources for easy language. We've got Stuart Okorowski, uh, again big name, difficult to pronounce, but big name. Uh, we've also got Sonny Harris is in here as well, and Mike Barner, again another big name, and then uh, here's Mart uh, Martin Whitaker. Uh, whose website we were just looking at a second ago. So uh, just kind of emailing or, or website details uh, from this TradeStation directory and you'll be able to get in touch with those people and kind of uh, ask for help on uh, coding for uh, TradeStation Easy Language. So there we go. I hope that was uh, helpful uh, to Peter. Um, thank you for the email. Thank you. I'm glad your trading is kind of going well and just as uh, a bit of a kind of payback uh, Maybe those kind of suggestions on how to learn easy language uh, will help you out. Good luck with your trading.